Hey guys, my name is Alex Fox, welcome to my channel, and welcome to the 100 most handsome faces of 2023. And this year, I am nervous. There were so many nominations that I literally have no idea who may or may not be on the list. Like, I have zero opinions. So I want you to tell me, who do you think is going to be on the list? Like, place your bets. Who do you think is going to be on this list? Let me know, and we have 100 people to talk about, so let's get into it. He also looks younger than me. How old is he? He's 22. God bless. Number 98. Diego Rodriguez. The combination of blue eyes with darker hair is like lethal. You have no business being so beautiful. Jacob Elodi has a bad case of salt burn. He also has a bad case of talking shit about his past works, but people don't treat him the same way they treat Rob Pattinson. Rob should be on here. He's a dad to be. Did you know that? Michael B. Jordan, my man. Michael's one of those guys that I've never seen any works of, but I just love him because I play into the hype. Wang Yi Bu. I see my man once a year and it's on this list. I can't scream because my family's gonna come in and be like, oh my god, are you getting mocked? I have tried to tell the world that Lucas Till deserves more. He is so underrated. He is criminally underrated and I've been, I'm in love with him. I have been in love with him. I have fallen in love with him over and over. Like growing up, I used to love him. And then one day, I saw this and I was like, I might just have to let go of my crush because I found a new man. Only to find out that it's the same man. Like, I have literally, I will fall in love with him in every single universe. Anyway, moving on. Amir! I came to know him from last year's list and he has that King of Iran kind of class about him. <laughs> The World Cup has some perks to it because I have never seen him on here. Like Ronaldo, yes, I've seen him a couple of times, but Leo Messi, never. But then again, they're saying it's his second year and this list has been going on for like a decade and I have only been following it for like the past couple of years, so I don't know when he was ever on this list before. Varun! Him and Siddharth Malhotra are like the two guys from India that are always on this list. Which leaves us to the fact that Siddharth is always lower than Varun. So my gut feeling is saying that this year he's not going to be on the list at all. Hello. Oh, he's cute. Take a screenshot. You didn't see that. Take a screenshot. So I'll remember to look him up. Daniela Kozlovsky. That is an interesting picture. Is he a surfer? Congratulations. He's Thai. I also need to watch Thai dramas because my friends are telling me to. They have recommended me so many. Especially this one called F... Something? I don't know. F1 Drivers might be on the list. Robert Pattinson! I told you. I told you he's going to be on the list. I told you he needs to be on the list. He's thanking you for this title and not the vamp. Lucas! Once again, Lucas and I see each other once a year and it is on this list. Kaito Takahashi. That is a very beautiful name. Takahashi. That sounds like something you would name a sword. Why am 
I happy? I hate Yonga Chapkane. I hate it. And the fact that I've not watched a single episode of it, and yet every single Friday a new episode drops, which leads to all of my social media being filled with clips of it. And my God, there has not been a drama in the history of Turkish television that I hate as much as I hate this drama. It is so bad. It is so, so bad. I I'm gonna burst a nerve. This drama is like my 13 reasons why. All 13 reasons, yale çapkene. But still, Merk being our Turkish brother, I am happy that he is there representing his country and making us proud. I am happy for him. I am, but I just hate this drama. I cannot put... I was about to say that I could write a book on how much I hate this drama, but I realized that if I ever tried to write that book, it would turn into a suicide note. Oh, hi, Dex. <laughs> Flirts with everyone. Michael Evans. Interesting. But that is a very interesting haircut. So tall and so blue eyed. He is so beautiful. Ooh. I was an eight girly, but hello, Chuck. Maxine, that's a pretty name. I also used to think that was a girl's name. Pietro, engineering PhD? Handsome and intelligent? You should consider joining the Mr. Universe pageant, sir. Hi, I really need to watch more diverse content. He's Singaporean. That, that's Singapore's flag, right? Say it with me. Shukru! I love Shukru so much. Like, I've been trying to get my friends to watch his dramas. Like, he is the man. Even though, like, you know, Ashtak Teklere and, like, some of his movies and stuff are pretty cliche. Like, they're pretty cliche, but come on. Like, how can you resist cliches coming from him? <laughs> I know him so much. I'm... <laughs> Pierre. Is that a French name? Why is it upside down? Is this a joke I don't get? Because I, I don't know him. Oh, Josh is sharp. Faso! Our second Indian entry. I'm thinking about watching more Indian content because I don't think I watch anything from anywhere, honestly. Like, I've stopped watching films and TV shows a long time ago. I need to get back into it and I also want, like, want to watch some Indian content. I've decided to start with the classic. Hello, Mr. David. At number 69. <gasps> David Beckham! Wakes up looking like this, so I'm pretty sure he does. I am pretty sure he does. There is not a David to have walked the face of Earth who is as iconic as Mr. David Beckham. Jin! And we're not surprised. He's worldwide handsome, you know. Take care of your health. Yes, please, because we're waiting for you. These five months could not go by any quick. I, I need you back. We need you back because these bells are getting out of control. You need to come back and take charge, please. Benjamin! Ben! Namja! What on that? Namja! Jake! That is an interesting picture, and there was a dog on the street. Anyway, back to Jake. We see each other once a year, and. Wait a second! No, 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 we don't see each other once a year because I. Earlier today, I was watching a video and I think it was of Jake. It was like this girl giving him a Justin Bieber CD. I think it was the same person. I don't know. And also, like, there's a Minion video. I think he's on my For You page, like, right now. I think he's on my Instagram Reels. He is. Jake, Jake, listen to my Minion impression. Let me know if this is the same guy because I'm kind of falling for him. Sam Hume. 
Pinker. The Pinker and Whiskey Drinker. Ooh. I like to describe myself as that. That sounds so cool. Thinker and Whiskey Drinker. Oh. Hunter. Once again, we meet once a year and it's on this list. I'm so happy on Earth when I'm on the list. <laughs> Wait, what flag is that? Taiwan? No. Malaysia. I think that's a Malaysian flag. Oh, yes. Oh, Chris Evans. Captain Baptista. <laughs> Mushigo should be on the list. Like, I still have not recovered from it. Like, I, I haven't. Jackson Human. That is a cool surname. And an even cooler way of spelling the name. I mean, I'm jealous. Why did I not think of that? Jackson. That makes so much more sense rather than going the whole Jackson. Jackson. Speaking of Aussies, Bang Chan should be here. Ming Yu. 17. <laughs> Recently, somebody explained to me why there were 13 members and 17, and that was that was quite interesting. Racer, Horizon rapper and dancer. And at number 57, Tom Holland in his Harley Quinn era. <laughs> Until last year, I had no idea who he was. So like, he was just another dude on the list. Now I'm a fan. Oh, he's nice. David, the next... As, as in the one replacing Henry Cavill? Because... No, that's... <laughs> no! You know, kind of from this angle, like if you kind of have like your eyes squinted, he looks a little bit like Henry Cavill. Taeyong! Rapper, singer, dancer, model. Oh, he's an NCT! He's the leader? How old is he? How many members are there in NCT? It just keeps going on. 26? How are you leading 26 people? You should run for president. Chris Pine. Chris Pine was the person, the first person to get me interested in these lists because I still have that picture of him. The first time ever that I saw him as a nominee. That is such a beautiful picture of him. I mean, yeah, sometimes he looks like a homeless person, but like, very exquisite kind of homeless person. The kind you would let into your house and show all the money to. Lee Zhang. I see him once a year and it is on this list. Marcel Jacob. Fastest human alive! That's how I recognize him because every single time they describe him as fastest human alive. And I love this picture. I just love pictures of people with flags. You know, when, when you hold them like scarf like this, when you win something and you just kind of hold it like that or to match, people are holding the flag. It's so beautiful. I would hold any flag any day. It is just about the hardest thing a person can do. Sean Mendes! And we're halfway through. We need to. Hurry it up. War. Wow. You know in Turkish we have a name called Sivash, but War. That really puts the emphasis to it, like War. He kind of looks like Dylan Surprise. I once asked my brother who's the prettiest in BTS and he said Jimin. At number 45, we have Tony. It's always a delight to see him. Like, he is so beautiful. So beautiful. Dylan Wang. Also a Louis Vuitton ambassador like Jackson Wang. I came across Jackson from these lists and he's the only person that I actually looked up and followed. And he's amazing. Like, he's one of those people that it doesn't matter what fandom you're from, it doesn't matter who you like or dislike, everyone loves Jackson Wang from China. Gabrielle Prince. And he's from Monaco. That is such a rich name and the fact that he's from Monaco. <laughs> Josh. 
Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Right! I remember his name. <laughs> There's so many people who are on this list, like, I don't remember their faces, I don't remember their occupations, nothing. I just remember their names, and Bright's one of them. Michele Morone. And Solo. I don't know a lot of these flags, like, these lists are so diverse. Shomari Francis. People are very creative with these names. I only see John on these lists. Like, I don't think he's done anything in, in, a, in a while. Like, after Big Unlist, did he do anything? I've not seen him in a while. What are you doing? Gay. Gay? We need Miha Jun on this list. Come on. Adam. Wait, I think he's the one from Sex Life. Oh, yes. I hate that show. I don't think there is a show on Netflix that I hate as much as this show. Like, I don't care if your feelings get hurt, sir, but I just hate that show. So much so that I didn't even watch season two because I'm team Cooper and I want Cooper's wife to end up in the streets. I want her to be fed to rats. That woman deserves to die in a ditch. Like, I hate her so much. I'm not gonna watch that show. I'm not gonna give Netflix any more coverage than that show has already received and I, I'm so glad that it got cancelled. Philip! Not my preferred way of spelling the name, but okay. What who? <laughs> Cupid! Number 32, Alex Mandonre. That's a pretty name. The day I have kids, I'm gonna come to these lists and pick a name. Harry Styles. I was not expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't, like, he's, he's a beautiful man. But I'm more inclined to words sing Zane. <laughs> every single year, every single year, I see him on these lists and I'm like, I'm gonna watch his dramas. But then a year passes and I watch nothing. I am so sorry, sir. I am so sorry. Last year, <laughs> last year my reaction to Burish being on the list was literally being shared on Instagram because I don't know why. But I was so happy and I am so happy to see him again. Like he is so amazing. Wow. I'm actually planning on doing some research about Matt because I came across a couple of videos of him and he sounded really stupid and weird and kind of sexist to be honest but you know he's pretty popular so i was like maybe i just came across wrong videos of him or maybe those videos were taken out of context so i literally have it on my to-do list <laughs> to do research on him because he's so popular but truth be told he's actually a good looking dude like this isn't exactly a pretty picture of him but he is good looking that i that i'll say kyla that is an interesting top. Zane! 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 I am so happy to see Zane on this list because Zane is just about one of the most beautiful human ever. Like, if you disagree with me, you need to go and get your fucking eyes checked because he is just beautiful. Cool. Cool about that. Oh! Oh my god, I love this man. I I feel like I've been saying that about every other man, but they are all very special to me. And Peng is one of them. I came across him from these lists, and you just have to follow him on Instagram. Like, he has all sorts of pets. Like, you name it, he has it. He has, like, goats, and lizards, and birds, and dogs, and all of them are in his living room and every time he uploads an, a new instagram story it's so interesting it's so interesting to watch all of them together like they don't fight he has like squirrels and like other kind of rodents and it's it's so interesting like you need to follow him that and the fact that he's so beautiful and his tattoos are so beautiful like oh felix husband and father <laughs> 
Idris Elba. Face of the decade. Jason! Oh my god, which reminds me that the second Aquaman film is coming out and I completely forgot all about it. Like, when is it even coming out? I have to go and watch it because I love it and my mom loves it. Like, she normally hates superhero films, but she loved Aquaman. She also thinks that Jason Momoa is kind of hot. <laughs> but I loved it. And the best part is that when I watched the trailer, I was so glad that Orm's back because... You guys can hate me all you want, and you can support Aquaman all you want, but I was Team Orm. Zuvo, <laughs> lovely pop model. <laughs> Number nine. Oh, Dean Schneider. I am always so happy to see him and his lions. And it's always just the lions, like no other animal. Always just the lions. <laughs> but I'm so glad he's here. Well, first we had an Anson Low, now we have an Anson Kong. Vinny Hacker. As I said, the names are so creative. <laughs> Jungkook! I don't need to scream. Honestly, like, it's not that serious. I don't need to scream. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh my god, feeling was correct. So that's not on the list. I don't know why I'm happy. I'm so sorry. He's beautiful. I mean, I've, I've been saying that about every person on the list, but he is beautiful. Like, the type that will have you mesmerized. It's really beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Benedict Cumberbatch is like one of those people that also has me like sometimes completely mesmerized by how beautiful he is. Like, when I was watching his film, uh, Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness or the madness of the multiverse i don't know but i saw him as sherlock first and in my head i was like he can never top that watching that film i literally actually cried tears because of how beautiful he was like i cried and somebody actually like when i mentioned that on my channel someone actually pointed out the scientific reason behind why you cry when you see a beautiful human but I've forgotten that reason. <laughs> we should look it up. Perhaps because you... There is a possibility that you... Perhaps you are, is it? Not, not the answers that I was expecting. I'm gonna go and look for that comment because that this is not it. Aiden, he's a TV host. I also need to start watching like more TV shows. Oh, Crimps Hemsworth. What was that? <laughs> Correct. Oh, <laughs> Hyunjin! I spent three hours last night trying to convince my brother to become a stay. And I think he's kind of falling for it. <laughs> he's sexy and he knows it. We Army waits for <laughs> Since BTS is ARMY now, we decided to change our name so there won't be any confusion. <gasps> he wins. Honestly, like, he wins, Halil Ibrahim. Like, he was on the list last year, which was surprising enough for me. And now he's in the top 10? Wow! Wow! Tebrikla! Chok, chok Tebrikla! Gadget Dan! We need to check what episode Amanat is on because that drama just refuses to end. Maybe it's ended. 650, my god. But oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> As someone who became a stay six days ago, I am so happy. Oh, Dongkook should be on here. Zhang Zihan. Another one of those guys that I come across a year on these lists. And I only recognize him from his name. <laughs> okay, um... This never ceases to amaze me. Like, the first time this scene was on the list, I was shocked. And then, he was on the list the next year again. And now, he's here again. 
and every year he goes a number higher like i'm so happy for him to be honest like i don't even watch emily in paris but i am so happy for him what group is he in oh he's an infant he's younger than me <laughs> you know who should be number one mr joe and if you don't know who that is you're probably too young to know anyway but he should be number one like i don't care how red he is but <laughs> I was so relaxed that he's obviously going to be on the list that I completely forgot. <laughs> and that's what I've been trying to tell the world. The day I have everything that I want, I'll have my happily ever after. There's two types of people in this world. Those who find Timothy the most handsome man and those who Think he's very ugly and that's just me being honest there is no third type of people there is no one who's just indifferent to timothy and i think he's beautiful to be honest like he, he is handsome to be honest i don't understand the people who think he's ugly like i think you guys just don't have taste frankly maybe you should just have better taste go eat some italian food and then you'll understand like what good taste is and then you'll be like oh Timothy is actually pretty good looking. But I need to live by this coat. The man who suddenly got everything he wanted. He lives happily ever after. So that was it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give me a like. Also, comment below and let me know who did you want to be on the list and they just were not on there. Let me know that and also subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload and also follow me on my Instagram, it's at Fox. And yeah, that is it. I'm the only Olive Fox in this world. And who was your favorite person on the list? Like, who was on the list and you were like, hmm, should have been number one, a person from the list. Let me know that and 